At this point, Wangari the storyteller tells us a story about the bear and the two friends. Hello over there, Mkwapoa. Oh, I am so glad to see you today because I know that me and you will become good friends. Now, hmm, what kind of friend do you like? What kind of qualities do you like with your friends? I personally love friends who are honest and friends who are always there for each other. Today's book is about friends. Mm -hmm. So it's about friends and also an animal called the bear. So the book is called The Bear and the Two Friends. Do you know how the bear looks like? How many legs does he have? Two legs? No! Oh yes, he has four legs and he has hair all over his body. Hmm. Is the bear a dangerous animal or is it harmless? Yes, bears can be very, very dangerous. Well, let's see what happened in the story about the bear and the two friends. Chris and Tim were best friends. One summer, they decided to go on a camping trip in the forest to enjoy the beauty of nature. Hmm. Both of them happily packed their bags and left for the forest. They knew that anything dangerous could happen to them at any time in the forest. And so they promised each other that they would remain united in case of any danger. Whoa. As they walked, they saw a bear running towards them. On seeing the bear, Chris climbed up a tree as he knew that bears could not climb trees. But his friend Tim didn't know how to climb a tree. Uh oh, I smell trouble now. He asked Chris to help him climb the tree, but Chris, mm, 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 he refused. And at that point, an idea struck Kim's mind. He knew, well, he had heard that bears don't eat dead things. So he lay down and he held his breath as if he was dead. The bear came and sniffed Tim and thought that he was actually dead. The bear went away. When the bear was gone, Chris came down from the tree. Chris asked Tim, what was the bear whispering in your ear? Tim replied, he said, don't shudder with a friend who leaves you at the time of danger. And saying this, Tim took his bag and walked away, leaving Chris behind. Hmm, well, I guess Tim learned something that day to choose friends who will always stick with you and not leave you at the first sign of trouble. Well, some food for thought for you when you're choosing your friends, but also when you are thinking about what kind of friend you are.